for this problem, again, this is a conditional problem. So the very first step I want you to do, without thinking anything else, is to change that into the left intersect right over right. So probably that neither blue intersect neither white divided by the probability of neither white. Here I'm going to do the bottom first. I usually like doing bottom first because it's easier. So we're drawing two balls. And we don't really care the order we draw them from or which, which one's being drawn first or second. We just care about their colors. And we also know that we draw one, we don't put it back. So we know this is a combination problem. This is without replacement and order doesn't matter. So we're going to be using combination. And here we want to have neither white. So and, and, and as you can remember, probability is the number of elements. So the number of elements in neither white over the number of elements in sample space. And number of elements in neither white means that you have blue and red to choose from and you don't have white to choose from. So here we're going to have four, 13 to choose from, 7 blue and 6 red, and we're going to be choosing 2. So this is having 13 to choose from, and we choose 2. And then the bottom here, number in the sample space, that's going to be, you have all the balls from the box to choose from, which add up to 7 plus 4 plus 6, which is 17. So we have 17 choose 2. If you aren't sure about how I did these combinations, go back and revisit chapter 2.3. So we've got the bottom part, now we have to figure out the top part. The top part can get a little tricky for a lot of people, because they don't know what neither blue intersect neither white mean. Here it's important to change the intersection sign into the word AND. So we have neither blue and neither white. Now just think about that for a minute in English. What does that really mean? I'm drawing two balls. Neither of them is blue and neither of them is white. And looking at this box, what colors do they have to be? Well, they have to be both red because neither of them is blue and neither of them is white. So again, we are looking at the number of elements of neither blue and neither white, which I'm just going to translate that into both red. And then again, number in sample space. The number is both red. Well, you have six red to choose from. So we're going to be doing six to choose two combination. Number of sample space. Same as bottom, 17 choose 2. Here we can cancel out the 17 choose 2. And some of you might ask, well, why do we even write it if we're going to cancel them out? Can I just not write it? Well, you're going to be right most of the time if you don't write it. But there are situations that they are going to be different. So I would suggest you to write it every time. Since we're doing probabilities, top and bottom, and they're usually going to be the same, but Sometimes they are different. So here we have 6 choose 2, which is 15. Here we have 13 choose 2, which is 78. And you can simplify that, but I'm not going to do it here. And here's your final answer.